Lady Charlotte Dunmore was a living example of finery and class. In 1759, she married Lord Dunmore and became the wife of the governor of New York. By being a genuine woman, she diluted hatred for her husband and kept honor for her family. Everyone wanted to be like her. In her early years, when her husband, Lord Dunmore, went to New York, he wanted his family with him. Because he was the governor, he could not visit them in England without resigning. They had to come to him, so they went on a voyage. The ship reached New York January 2, 1774. Lady Charlotte brought six of her seven living children and ten servants. It was a 44-day trip, and they traveled by carriage and by the Dunmore yacht. Crowds met them as they rode into town. This was very unusual because everyone strongly disliked Lord Dunmore. Report of the Virginia Gazette, a great number of the most respectable citizens and many from the country who had been informed of her arrival attended the carriages in order to see her ladyship safe at the palace and then returned to their respective homes. The Queen herself could not have had a more enthusiastic welcome. A cannon saluted their landing at Yorktown. Newspapers and poems had been written in honor of Charlotte and the citizens in Williamsburg put candles in their windows and celebrated with fireworks. As you can see, people loved her, just like Governor Morris, as he described her as a very elegant woman who looks, speaks, and moves as a lady. Lord Dunmore was also the governor of the Bahamas in 1785. Charlotte was always very involved in his career. Even though her husband was still hated, she always got to throw the big parties in her house and get admired for her delightful attitude. Soon after his governorship in Bahamas, Lord Dunmore died and Charlotte became a widow. After her husband died, she was still always an enjoyable person that everyone wanted to be like, but it was said that she was visited by very few proper people. Although she had a few morning visits with the Queen, she normally stayed at home to help her children and her grandchildren. Lady Charlotte outlived her husband, but she felt alone the rest of her life because she didn't have a manly figure in her life to support her anymore. Although Lady Dunmore was the highest ranking woman in British North America, she'd be the last in line of English First Ladies to make the palace her home. Shortly after her husband died, she passed away in 1818 at Southwood House. To put her whole life all together, she was the daughter of one earl and the wife of another. She marched in George III's coronation procession and she paid morning visits to the Queen. She was a lot of help for her husband because she diluted criticism for him. She left her life luxury in 1773 to go along the Atlantic with her children and join her husband in Williamsburg, and she was well known for her charm. Although Lady Charlotte Dunmore had nine children, she still kept a smile on her face every day. She was a much beloved figure known for ladylike grace and charm. Lady Charlotte Dunmore's legacy lives on today from her value of being a likable, friendly, fun-spirited woman even among people who disagreed with her. She was Virginia's first and last countess.